Hey guys, I'm back with another tutorial for you. I have been gone for a while and I haven't made any videos, made any changes to my channel or anything, it's just kind of just been there. But in this video, we're going to be going over how to export videos from Adobe After Effects to where you can use them in other video editing programs like uh, Vegas Pro, Windows Movie Maker. Um, you can actually still use them in Flash if you do just save it as a uh, AVI file. But what we're going to be doing is trying to save it as like a QuickTime or um, WAV, uh, MP4, different things like that so you can use them in other other programs other than just Adobe After Effects and Flash. So let's go ahead and open up our Adobe After Effects. I will be using CS5. I'm not sure what it would be like in CS4 or below that. I have not used them. Um, but we're going to be working with CS5 in this one. I'm sure it should be pretty similar in the other forms of this. But you can see right here, this is a little intro that you saw at the beginning of my video. Um, it just kind of fades in, got a little particular going on. So with this, it's kind of short, but it doesn't really matter how long your video is. You can do this with uh, any length of video, um, any quality. But we're just going to make sure you have your video completed. We're just going to have to go to Composition, Add to Render Queue. And once you do that, this screen should come up down here at the bottom. You can still see your compositions right here. And you have render queue right here. What we're going to have to do is be working with this output module and the output 2. You're just going to leave your render settings and the log alone. So don't mess with those two. But first go to output module. Go ahead and click where it says lossless. Alright. So you can see right here, you can change your format. It's generally set as AVI, for, uh, first of all. Like, that's the, what the default preset is. But we're going to be, I'm going to go ahead and export as QuickTime. It seems to work really good. Um, you can do WAV or Windows Media, Photoshop sequence, different stuff like that. It's just I found QuickTime and WAV to be the best. So just make sure your format's whatever you want it to be. And then... All these kind of stay right as they are. It's always really good quality. Looks great. They're gonna give you format options. Mine's already set as H.264. Um, normally it would be animation, but we're gonna want it to be H.264 if you're trying to upload your video to YouTube. It makes higher quality videos and it looks really good. Make sure your quality is at 100, and just leave everything else alone. All right. You can mess with these other things. Um, I don't need to because it's already the size I need it to be, and it looks fine. But if you want to, you can change them. But I'm not going to be going into that. So once you do that, just go ahead and click OK, and you can see it says Custom Semicolon QuickTime. Now we're going to go to Output Two, and you're going to click over here where it says Comp whatever or whatever your says. I'm just going to go to my Libraries videos I'll save right here all right I'm just gonna name this tutorial all right and just save and what that does is save all the files that you're gonna need for this but it didn't render it yet now we're gonna click render over here this is all on the render queue screen so make sure you still have it up all right so you're gonna click render and this little load bar should come up and it's gonna render it to that area that you choose to save it at and this should be done momentarily, but while this is loading, you need to go to my channel and comment, rate, subscribe my videos, watch them all if you want to, I don't care. And let me know what you think. Message me, tell me if you need anything changed in any of my videos or how I'm doing. So this is almost done. Um, should be done really fast. It's a lot faster than normal exporting. So it's finished now. Makes a cool little sound. Alright, so now if you were to go to your videos, on libraries, videos, right here, you can see that I have this, this video right here. Let's go ahead and open this up. There we go. Now you can see it's fast, looks good. It does have a little, little sketchiness right here, but that's just because it's, you it can't get everything perfect. But you can see it does have high quality on the particular and the text that came up on it. 
so it looks good I like it and that's how you export it out but we want to be able to open it up in Vegas Pro so once you open up your Vegas Pro you can do everything you normally do just go to file open find your video right here and it opens up straight into Vegas Pro and it looks good you can change the background on here like I know mine I don't like how it looks right now it looks really bad um, in the beginning of my video it does look different than this right here because I'm kinda going along with it and I'm gonna change it after the video but everything else looks great um, gradients too I've never found a really good uh, video editing program that works good with gradients but I'm sure you could mess around with the colors a lot and make that look a little bit better but other than that it works great um, maybe saving it as a different file type could work better but just for this I'm trying to show you how to do it so please comment rate and subscribe and tell me what you think about the video